Hi everyone, it's Miss Mayorga here with another video. This time we're going to be going over lesson nine using images. We've already done this lesson in class, but for those of you who uh, did not get a chance to do the lesson or finish it, you can watch this video to help you out. All right, open up your unit two notebook. Please go to page um, 27 through 29 and make sure you log into Code Studio. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and continue watching the video. All right. Let's go ahead and check out what we need to do. Lesson nine, using images. How can we add images on our website while making sure we respect everyone's rights? Learning objectives. Follow copyright law, accurately attributing others when using their work. Add an image to a web page. So we're finally learning how to add a picture to our web page, but also making sure that we give credit to the person who created the picture. Um, again, log into code.org, lesson nine. And we're going to be covering bubbles one through nine. All right. It's more like bubble one through eight, honestly. Um, but we're going to skip bubbles five and six. Bubble eight will be graded. So make sure you turn that in. Let me know. Message me once you turn that in. Let's go ahead and get started. Lesson nine using images. Bubble one. That is just the overview. So go ahead and continue. Skip that. Bubble two, images. A dog versus cat webpage has been started for you. The dog image has already been added to the below webpage. Do this. Look at the code that made the dog image appear. Use an image tag to add the cat.jpg image to the below to the page below the cat heading. Excuse me, I need to sneeze. Okay. It's not, it's not coming up. That's okay. Let's go ahead and inspect the code. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go ahead and inspect the code to see what code was used to add an image. Inspector on. No, nope. inspector on. Hovering over the image and that highlights lines 9 and 10 or 10 and 11. This is our image tag. The image tag contains right now so far two components. SRC source and this is the file name. If you look on the left side, here are all our files. Here's a styling sheet the cat picture, the dog picture, and our HTML file. All right, so you have to tell the computer what the file name is. Where do they find this picture? That's the source. Alt is a description that you give the picture in case the picture doesn't show up. So for example, maybe if this was there was a mistake in this line, the picture goes away, but it still says dog jumping. So at least the user knows what picture should have been there, right? So that would be the alt, the just description. It's not a caption because it doesn't show up if the picture is there, but it's a description in place of the picture in case the picture doesn't show up. And so we want to use the same structure to insert our cat picture underneath the heading cats. So go down to line 15, go to the end of that line, hit enter, and we're going to follow the same structure. Open symbol, the less than symbol. Yes, less than symbol. <laughs> IMG space. The first thing we need is SRC, the source equals. And as you can see, the file names pop up here. So you can just click on the file name and it'll type it out for you. You can also type it out yourself, but you have to make sure you use quotation marks, source equals quotation marks, and that you copy the file name exactly as it's in on the left side. Cat.jpeg quotation marks. Go ahead and click enter again. And now we're going to do the description. All right. Alt equals. You also need quotation marks here. All right. And let's see. Uh, I'm just going to say orange cat staring. Orange cat staring. That's my description. You can describe it another way if you want to. Then I'm going to close the quotation marks. And don't forget the greater than sign. Once you do that, you should see that the picture shows up. If it doesn't, just click refresh and save, and that should update your code. Um, one little note, you can, instead of putting the source and the alt on a separate line, you can put them on the same line like this. It's just easier for me, and I personally prefer to have them on separate lines for organization purposes. All right, so I look at the first line, that's source. The second line is alt. The third line, fourth line, right, and so on. Um, so this for me is easier to, to understand and be able to debug in case there are bugs. But it will still work and it's not wrong if you keep it like this. All right. Okay. 
refresh save and we're done with bubble two let's go ahead and finish move on to bubble three okay giving credit when using someone else's image you should give credit to the original creator that is also called attribution the easiest way to do this is to add text below the image that identifies the creator and website it came from you may also add information about the publishing license do this, add information about where the image came from and its license. This image was found at Pixabay and was uploaded by user Alexis Photos, who used a free for commercial use and no attribution required licenses. So um, and here we can see the dog picture has a paragraph underneath that gives you the information of the creator and what website it was found on, as well as license information. But we're just going to put the creator and the website because most of the pictures that we're going to use in class are going to be no attribution required, meaning we don't technically have to give credit, but it is still custom to give credit to the creator. So let's go ahead and go down to line 17 or after your image tag right here. Click enter. I clicked enter twice just so I have some space. I'm going to do paragraph tag, open paragraph tag. And I need to give the information of the creator. So that's going to be Alexis Photos exactly as it's written here. You can copy paste if you want or just type it in. Alexis Photos hyphen and then where it was found, Pixabay. Close your paragraph. Don't forget that backslash, I almost did. And if you look at your page, you might have to refresh and save, but if you look at your page, you should see that paragraph shows up explaining who the creator is and where we found the picture all right so we that's alexa's photos from pixabay so anytime that you use a picture um, you have to make sure to leave a paragraph caption explaining who the creator is and where you found the picture you have to give credit all right let's go ahead and continue bubble four all right the details matter. The SRC attribute or source attribute needs to point to the exact file name of the image you want to use. This means you need to pay attention to spelling, capitalization, and the file extension. Each of the three images on this page is broken because of an improper source attribute. Do this. Use the file menu for reference. Fix each of the image tags. When you are finished, each image should display correctly on the web page preview. Note, even though the images are not loading properly, our website is still showing descriptive text of what should be there because we use the alt attribute. Cool. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening here. Um, so again, here, even though the pictures are not showing up, there is a description showing up. Red sky, green grass, blue island. And that comes from the alt part of the image tag. All right, that's giving the computer a description to display in case the picture doesn't show up but we're gonna fix these issues so that the picture does show up. Remember, the file name uh, for source, the file name has to match exactly, letter by letter, uh, capitalization, uh, lowercase, symbols, everything has to match exactly. So let's take a look at the first file. This is supposed to show a red sky. Right now the file name says red.jpg. But if we take a look at the files over here, which of these files is the correct file? Red sky. Yes. And now what's different? What's not matching up between the file name and what's typed in our HTML code? Right. So I hope you said that it's missing the underscore in the sky part. So let's go ahead and type in after red underscore sky. Bam. Right. Shows up because we corrected it. Notice that there's a pink, so it's not giving you like a, an error code, but um, obviously it's not showing up on the web page, so that's telling you there is an error in your code. Um, but anyway, moving on to the second image, grass, grass.jpg. Let's look for the file it's referring to. Grass, grass.jpg. What's the difference here? What's the difference? Capitalization. The <laughs> I'm assuming that's what you said. Uh, capitalization. JPG should be capitalized, JPG, right? Everything matters, capitalization matters. And last one, what is not matching between the, 
what's typed and the actual file name. Yeah, they just forgot the E, all right? They just forgot the E. Maybe they were typing too fast and they forgot the E. That's it, that happens sometimes. So just double check your spelling, double check that capitalization, double check that the the ex file extension JPG, you know, it matches, it says, it says JPG or whatever else it says, just double check that your file name matches exactly. Otherwise your picture won't show. All right, we're done here. Let's go ahead and finish. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning, we are skipping bubbles five and six, so you can go ahead and continue on to bubble seven. Let's go to bubble seven. And for bubble seven, we're gonna do activity G. All right, activity G. Let me check time, okay. Add a new image. We're gonna add a new image to a recipe. Here you can practice adding a new image to a web page. Do this. Add an image to the end of this cake recipe. Don't forget to use the add image button and include an image tag in your code. So here's what I'm gonna teach you how to upload an image into the code studio so that you can add it into your HTML web page. First, we need to find our picture. So this is about cake. Let's go ahead and find a picture about cake. You have a couple options. You can go to Google, Google images, and look up cake. However, if you are using Google Images, we have to make sure we use pictures that give us permission to use, all right? So to find the pictures that we get permission to use, you have to click on Tools, Usage Rights, and click on uh, Creative Commons Licenses, all right? Now you can use any of these pictures that show up, as long as you give credit and explain what website you found it on. So for example, say I choose um, I don't know. I'm going to choose this, this cake right here. Uh, I need to click on the picture again. So it takes me to the website and here I can, uh, right click and save the picture, save image as, um, or if you can't right click and save for some reason, you can screenshot this. Uh, I think you're able, you should be able to download this. Yeah, download here. I uh, usually go for the smaller size, 6428, um, so that it fits on your website. But the other reason you need to click on the picture to take you to a website is to see who the author is, because we need to give credit. So here on this page, it tells me the author, Jay from the UK. Um, and so you just need to make sure that you give credit. As you can see here, it talks about the licensing, right? Giving attribution, you must give credit. Um, so make sure that you give credit to who the user is or the author is and state that you found it from Wikimedia Commons, right? So that's an example if you use Google. Now, I, don't, I like to do uh, another website. I like to use a different website, which is Pixabay, right? Pixabay, pixabay.com. Uh, pictures on here are free for everybody to use. All right, so if I look up cake, I'm going to go ahead and click on, hmm, I'm going to click on this one. All right, oh, that's more of a cookie. That's not a cake. Uh, okay, I'm wasting time. <gasps> okay, I'm going to click on, I guess it doesn't have to be exactly a cake. So I'm going to click on this chocolate cake. There we go. So here, if you, uh, you can look on the right side, uh, the author is Pexels. That's another website, but you, that's gonna be your author, the Pexels. And then it says no attribution required, meaning you don't need to give credit, but we're gonna do it anyway. So we would give credit to Pexels and say that we found it on Pixabay, right? Uh, to download pictures on Pixabay, you can say free download. I usually go for the smallest size and then go ahead and download it. Once you've downloaded your picture, either from Pixabay or from Google, go back to Code Studio, and we're gonna add an image, all right? So go ahead and click Add Image, Upload File, look for your picture wherever you saved it, wherever it's saved to, here's mine. And you should see it pop up just like mine did. Once you're ready, go ahead and click the purple X, not the trash, the purple X, click the purple X, and you're gonna see that your file pops up, right? And here is your picture, all right? Um, my video is about to run out, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up on the next part of this in part two of this video. All right, see you soon, everyone.